Okay, so we've got our uh, E-Revo here with the brushless setup, and everything on the truck is pretty pretty solid uh, and everything. I've got the RPM arms on the front and rear along with the, uh, the knuckles that you can see in here. So the arms themselves are pretty solid. Um, an issue that we were having before is that the push rods were popping out of the rocker uh, side or on the suspension arm side right where the rod end is and so the the push rods themselves weren't bending but the rod end was pulling out and when that happens you you would lose your suspension and then you have to stop uh, bashing basically and you either force the the uh, push rod back into the rod end uh, which further stretches it out and causes it to slip more or you have to stop unbolt it uh, screw a new one on or reuse the old one and then put it back together and, and, and while not a very big deal it does cause a delay um, when you just want to be out there driving so I just swapped those out with the Traxxas upgraded units, um, but the final piece of the puzzle here are these, uh, the tow links right here. So the problem that you run into with the tow links is the same exact thing. Basically you crash the car cartwheels and the tire will you know, move in or out, tow in or tow out basically, and that puts stress and pressure on the rod ends. And so what happens is you end up pulling the rod out of the end and the same thing then you have to stop driving to uh, repair that. So RPM makes a product called the True Track, and that eliminates the need for tow links. So basically, uh, you still have the RPM arms for strength and everything, but then you, you get rid of this tow link. So one, you lose a little bit of weight with that, but most importantly is that you eliminate this part uh, as a problem for, for braking. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at those and get those installed. So this is everything that you get with the RPM True Track. Uh, you get new replacement arms for the rear, uh, both the lower pieces and the upper pieces. Uh, you get new uh, knuckle carriers, and then you get uh, some screws in here, and then you get a few bearings and everything that will uh, now fit in the, uh, the new parts. So let's get that installed. Okay, so now I'm part way through. I've got one of the uh, sides ripped off with the uh, stock sign on the other still and up here you can really see uh, on the old one the tow link controls which way the wheel is normally facing because if you make it shorter you got tow out and if you make it longer you have tow in um, so that's where that wheel link is but you can see on the true track it eliminates that piece and basically locks it in um, I believe the specs on that are 1.5 degrees tow in uh, which seems to be pretty common for uh, what most people are running which is why RPM selected to have that as kind of the default okay and one thing I did notice is this is the old uh, RPM upper arm on the rear and this is the new one it does look like they are uh, identical in size um, so that's nice if you do happen to have you know, an old set like how I'm doing, I'm pulling the older ones off. I'll be able to keep these and that way in case I do somehow end up breaking one, um, although they do have a warranty, um, at least that way I've got one on hand to use. And then I have heard people complaining about the difficulty they've been having with trying to screw this into the, uh, the arm here. So just use, you know, caution, be careful, um, and take your time when you're doing that to make sure that you're screwing that in correctly and that it's not going in crooked and then don't screw it in too far or else you can end up uh, stripping the threads in here. And then the other thing here is you can see that I've got the suspension arm with the, uh, the ball joint uh, screwed in there. Basically you're going to get a the plastic uh, washer that they've provided so that's going to go on top of that. Obviously you're going to want to make sure that's nice and straight and then you're going to throw in the, uh, the aluminum piece right here to seal all of that all together. So I got one side done here, and you can see that it no longer has that tow link piece uh, because of the way it's set up. So now when we're out driving around, we don't have to worry about that falling out. And here's the factory stock side. So you can see that the tow link is on here, and basically that is one of the weak links that we are trying to get rid of here. So let's get this swapped out. 